So our guitar is tuned in drop D. And let me just say, if you're watching this video right now and you specifically looked for a lesson on this song, you are awesome. I love Pillar and I love this song. That EP was one of the first rock albums I grew up with, so it's uh, pretty important to me. But um, let's go ahead and hop into the lesson. We're gonna start on the ninth fret and we're gonna play from the low string up to the D string. Just like that. And we're gonna hammer on from the ninth fret of the D to the 11. And then we're gonna descend to the A and D, or the A and the low D. So going up, and then back down. Then we're gonna hammer on from the 11 to the 12, and then pick the 14th fret. We're gonna do it again, but we're gonna stop on the 12th fret. And the third time is the same as the first. And then we're gonna play this chord, seven on the A, nine on the D, seven on the G. So the verse is very bass driven, so the guitars are just kind of complementing it by playing this. So that's just nine on the A, 11 on the D, and then we're adding our pinky to the 12th fret, and we're just playing one, two, three, 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 four. If you're playing the song by yourself and you want something a little more foundational, you can just play the 9th fret, 12th fret, 9th fret, and open D. And then there's some lead stuff that goes like this. So that's the 14 on the G going to the 11, 12 to the 14 on the D, and then hammering on 11 to 12 on the D. And then we're going from the 12 to the 14 on the A, we're just doing like two hammer-ons, like that. Sliding from the 12 to the 11 on the D, and then we're gonna play the 12th fret on the A. We're gonna hammer on first, and then we're gonna pick it. Just like that. You continue to play through the verse, and then we get to this pre-chorus riff. So it's basically just two chord shapes. It's um, three, three, five, five, and then five, five, seven, seven. But we're gonna start by hammering on the low note, um, going open to the third fret, and then we're gonna play A, G, D, so. And then we're gonna slide from the three to the five. And then we're going to play uh, G, D, and then pick the open low string, and then the open A. So that's, and then you just repeat. And then there's a little uh, melodic break that um, starts on the 7 of the D. And we're going to play 7, 9, 11, and 12. And then 9 on the G, and ending on the 11 on the D. Play through the verse again, and then you do the pre-chorus, but this time you actually build up into the chorus. And I usually like to slowly transition into chords there, so... So the chorus, we're actually playing those same chord shapes, but we're playing on the 9th fret, then we're going to play the open D, and we're going to play on the 5th fret. So that's... Actually, I just remembered that they don't play 905, they actually play 975. Um, I actually 
for a long time I played it that way and I kind of favor that, but if you want to play it the way they actually do, it's... And then that riff is 5-7-0, oh, 5 7 oh. Repeat. And we go down to the two, back to the five. You go through the verse again, the pre chorus. Um, when we get to the bridge, we're basically just playing a, a basic bar chord on the second fret of the A, um, but we're going to pick it like this. So we're just going back and forth from the A and the D string. We're playing two, four, two, and then fourth fret on the G. And then we do it again, two, four, two, and we're gonna play the second fret on the G. So. Then we're going to keep our ring finger and our pinky planted, but we're gonna leave the low string and the A string open. We're gonna pick back and forth between those two. Play the 4th fret on the G, and then 2nd fret on the low string in the A, pick back and forth, and then play the open G. So the whole thing goes like this. Pretty much keep playing that. Sometimes as it builds up, I like to just start strumming. And then you'll end abruptly on that second fret. And then you pretty much just play the chorus again. Um, although you do play it three times. And uh, yeah, and then you just end on that fifth fret. And that's how you play Further From Myself.